Well, I, you know, it's very difficult to know what influence uh, some, someone had any, uh, on you when you grew up entirely in that atmosphere. <laughs> I was born in a campus which was established by Rabindranath Tagore. My mother went to school there. It was an old progressive co-educational school established by Tagore. So I was the second generation being educated there. I was born in the campus. I was reared in the campus, I studied there, and my grandfather taught there. So, you know, whatever I was learning, thinking about, was influenced by Tagore. In that, uh, the kind of thing we were talking about earlier, namely reasoning, enlightenment, non-sectarian, uh, an open, inclusive approach to humanity, must have played a part. Now, they remain part of my beliefs now. I am vain enough to think that I've arrived at them by my own reasoning. But, uh, you know, reasoning is helped by a certain amount of fucking. We often, when you go to see a play, and when you hear a lovely line being uttered, and my favorite was uh, hearing in a Cambridge performance, when the prompter was um, telling Hamnet about his solid locking. And I thought it was marvelous, because at one stage, it's at one level, it's a very well-reflected soliloquy. At another level, since I was in the front row, I could hear both the prompter <laughs> and the prompted <laughs> to which Hamlet. So, was I being prompted? Perhaps so. Were they my own thoughts? I think so, too. I hadn't felt the tension. I guess that, ultimately, is some proof that there must have been an influence.